I'd like to congratulate President Putin for being the only person that caught a fish today. I like Putin, he likes me. You know, we get along. I looked the man in the eye. I found it to be very straightforward and trustworthy. Uh, we had a very good dialogue. I was able to um, get a sense of his soul. A lot of people never really dreamt that an American president and a Russian president could have established the friendship that we had. We were enemies for a long period of time. When I was in high school, Russia was an enemy. Now the high school students can know Russia is a friend. He's got that kind of slouch, uh, looking like the bored kid uh, in the back of the classroom. I don't have a bad personal relationship with Putin. When we have conversations, um, they're candid, they're blunt. I know the press likes to focus on body language, and he's got that kind of slouch, uh, looking like the bored kid uh, in the back of the classroom. Uh, but the truth is, is that when we're in conversations together, uh, oftentimes it's very productive. President Putin called me up very nicely to congratulate me on the win of the election. I like Putin, he likes me. You know, we get along. It's better. Isn't it? Wouldn't you say it's smart to get along? Okay? Smart. So, what specifically will you do differently to change Vladimir Putin's behavior? Well, first of all, there's no guarantee you can change a person's behavior in a favorous country. Autocrats have enormous power. They don't have to answer to a public. Why do you think he hasn't changed his behavior in spite of everything the U.S. has done to this point? <laughs> He's Vladimir Putin. Putin is the aggressor. Putin chose this war. And now he and his country will bear the consequences.